Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew from American Musical Supply here, and in this video I'm going to give you a little overview of some of the integration features that the Nectar Panorama series of controllers have with Bitwig Studio. So the Panorama controllers can be used to control the instruments in Bitwig Studio. Obviously you have keyboard control. And then if you look up here on the display, you're going to see that I have uh, different parts of the instrument available here. Cutoff, resonance, attack, release, drive. And those correspond to these encoders, rotary encoders over here. You'll notice that as I turn them, I'm changing the parameters on the instrument. So right there I just opened the cutoff. And you can see that it's easily labeled, which is great. Uh, I can also bring up a view of the instrument's plugin on the computer screen by pressing view right here. Okay, so there I have the pages of the instrument plugin right there that I can look at on my monitor if I want. And I can also browse the pages of the plugin via the panorama controllers by pushing here, pages button, and then using the data wheel I can scroll down if I wanted to modify parameters for oscillator 2, say. I could scroll down to oscillator 2 and then press enter. And you'll notice that on my panorama here, the um, parameters are, sh are reflected on the screen and I can use these encoders to shape that sound however I want. I can also browse through different patches using the panorama by using the patch plus and minus button. And you can see that the computer screen, the monitor, is reflecting all these changes also, as well as on my panorama. The next thing I want to show you is the transport integration. I have these transport buttons right here, dedicated controls, and I can press uh, play, stop, I can record enable, set loops, scroll through my uh, track however I want to do it, and if I push the transport button on the panorama, you can see that I get a visual reflection of the counter. Uh, there my transport, some of my transport parameters are reflected there. Cool. So I also have full mixer control via the panorama. I can enter the mixer mode by pushing the mixer button right here. You can see, you can see that my display uh, is, has changed to reflect that. And now in the mixer mode, any of these sliders I have over on the left side of the panorama are going to control the faders on my mixer in the software. So to jump over to a different track, I'm on the, the Play Me track here, which doesn't have any sequence data. I'm going to go over to the drum track by pushing this button right here. That's record enabled the drum track, but it also has made it active. So now I can use the encoder to change the level in the mixer. Now you'll notice that the fader over to the left, the motorized fader, is also moving. And that is the single motorized fader that's available for whatever track is selected. So if I play, I can use either of those faders to change the level of my drum track. And if there's any automation written in, then the automation is going to follow, the, the motorized fader is going to follow the automation. So there you have it. There's a really brief overview of the integration, showing the integration between Nectar Panorama controllers and Bitwig Studio. If you want more information, please visit AmericanMusical.com.